Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Immorelli San Francisco. This is artisanal halba. So we have the traditional vanilla, the early harvest anti pistachios. I have a dark chocolate and roasted almonds and roasted hazelnut and caramel. I wonder how hard these are going to be to get out of these little tubs. Oh, I don't think they'll be. I, I don't think so. Or, or you, maybe you'll cut it in the tub. You know, yeah, I didn't we'll think see. about that. You might need a butter knife and cut it in yeah, the we'll tub. Yeah, we'll see. I'll let you deal with that while I'm reading it. <laughs> let me deal with it. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you can d deal it, with it. It does have a little seal. You know what? I just wasn't thinking. I got out this cutting board and this knife, and, and I'm the one that chooses it. Some people laugh when they're like kevin and his big knife i'm the one that chooses the, 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 knife. the knife out but i'm thinking that you'll probably cut it in there won't see. you i bet it's meant to yeah it doesn't come out yeah so, <laughs> so what are you gonna meet that i'll be right back and you might need a paper towel too yeah. um okay well i didn't know i didn't you know no preparation on it. No, I tried. I tried to prepare. So these were $3.99 each at Tuesday morning. That's where we found them. And I bought them one week, and we were back in there like two weeks later. And uh, they only had one random uh, box left. All the other ones were like sold out. So I was shocked because normally it's not like that at Tuesday morning. And this, somebody must have thought, oh yeah, I'm getting that. So... No palm oil, non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free. These are eight ounce containers. Uh, traditional vanilla. It says keep, still, keep sealed in a cool, dry place. Oil separation is natural. Um, no palm oil, non-GMO. Um, they are, it says one ounce, 1.1 ounce, 32 grams is 160 calories. There are seven servings in here. It's a product of turkey. Uh, this includes it's sesame seeds, cane sugar, vanilla extract, citric acid, and gypsophilia juice. I have no idea what that is or if I even said that right. But that's what halva is. It's mainly sesame seed. Yeah. Now this, I've had um, wall paste and mortar that, that felt and looked just like that. When, you look when you're at that, filling a hole. Yeah, when you feel that, it feels just like a grout in a tile oh, or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I cut out an ugly piece in the center and then I... First pieces are always ugly. Yeah, you kind of have to dig them out. They're very gritty. That's what I would expect though. Mm-hmm. Kevin and I have had halva before. I, I really enjoy it. I, I like it's delicious. It's, it's not as strong as some of the ones we've had before, but... Well, it's vanilla. So yeah. it's mainly um, the you're getting a sweet sesame seed. Yeah, it's more know? it's more vanilla though than even sesame seed. It's it's strong. I mean, I get sesame seed, but it's good. I like it. I mean, if you eat this kind of stuff all the, all the, all the time, you will, you will, I think you'll like it. Yes. it, it It's a very gritty. Mm -hmm. But it's a nice, sweet flavor. Is there another food? If somebody's never had halva, because just like we, when we review marzipan, some people are like, I've never had marzipan. Could you compare that to something else? No. It's so, <laughs> it's, it's, it's thick. Sweet. It's a weird flavor and texture. If you like sesame seeds, so you know what that flavor is like. Now, mm -hmm. sweeten it up and grind them up to where they're a little like gritty, paste like texture yeah that's put them in like. your food processor yeah it's a pasty it's a gritty pasty sesame seed. and add some flavoring to it yeah there you go yeah um kind of like you make peanut butter out of peanuts this you're making um sesame seed butter out of sesame seeds you just don't get it as smooth right but some people are sensitive to different textures i'm i don't like uh the texture of mashed potatoes and that freaks people out when they hear that because people love their mashed potatoes. Uh, yeah, my whole everybody in the family likes them. I don't. I don't like that that texture, and and I just don't like potato. I love potato cooked other ways, not mashed. So if fried, you're fried mostly, yeah, in a chip <laughs> or, or fried. Um, but no, I, I do like potatoes other ways, but, but some people, uh, you might not like get into this texture. 
I like it. It's it's gritty. Um, it's almost like um, like if you were to eat a piece of chalk. <laughs> but but it's but not selling it, is it? No. But I'm trying to compare it to something. If you were to ever pop like a little piece of chalk in your mouth. It's very it's very gritty. It's gritty, yeah. But it it's has It's not a, quite as gritty as chalk. But it but has a good flavor. I like it. Um this is the early harvest Antip pistachios. It is 1.1 ounces, 170 calories. This has sesame seeds, pistachios, cane sugar, vanilla extract, citric acid, and yeah. that juice. It what looks else? like the it looks like the it's hollow underneath, just the regular, just like what we just had. They yes. just sprinkled pistachios. They have on top. lots of pistachios on top, so that's what I'm gonna get that big bite of. That texture is a little looser. It's not quite as dense as the other one was. Oh, mine has pistachios on it. I don't like pistachios all over my mouth. I love that. It's a different, it's a little bit different texture even, isn't it? Uh-huh. Well, I don't think they ground that one up as well. Yeah, so it's a little grittier and a little looser. So, I got like, not whole sesame seeds, no. but I got like, like you would get like a half of them. Well, I think they put, it looks like pistachios, but it also looks like there may be a little piece of sesame seed on top, but it's hard to say. Um, All those seeds kind of look the same to me. I really like that one. <clears throat> I Not like sure. pistachios though. I don't mind them, honestly. I hate pistachios and I don't mind those. Well, I don't say I hate them. I don't choose them, uh, but those aren't bad because mm -hmm. they're not that, there's not that many of them. No, but you can taste You them. can taste them. You can taste the difference going from the vanilla to the pistachio. And I don't know why, but to me, the sesame seed flavor itself stood out more yeah, than the pistachio. I agree. I, like, that, like I said, that vanilla, I really just got vanilla. I really didn't get anything else. That, mm. that I really tasted the sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. mm. It's very right. sweet. Uh, this is the dark chocolate, chocolate and roasted almonds. Same calories. <clears throat> sesame seeds, almonds, chocolate, and then cane sugar, vanilla. It's the, the same, same exact thing. The bottom's the exact same. Yeah, they've done the same, it's the same thing, but they put different toppings on it. Yeah. Um, kind of like some donuts we've reviewed. Mm -hmm. We went to that parlor donuts yeah, a long time ago. the same ago. donut. The exact same donut, and they just put different toppings on the top. That's the only difference. So that's what they've done here. It's not too bad. I mean, it's a very thin layer of chocolate, but it's definitely there. It's melty. Mm-hmm. Again, kind of got that, that gritty texture. It almost reminds you of brown sugar a little bit. This, um, the grittiness, mm -hmm. this is, is absolutely, to me, That's good. a dessert. Mm -hmm. Now, I have no idea uh, when they eat this in Turkey. You know, this is a product of Turkey. I'm wondering, like, is there a particular time of day that, that you would eat this? Or is it like anything else? You you know, eat it whenever you feel like it. Or is would, would the family bring this out for a dessert? Right. I don't know. Or is this a snack? Or because yeah, it's not what you'd call super sweet. I mean, it's sweet. but That it's chocolate not, one was very sweet, I thought. It, yeah, but they're not what I would consider dessert sweet. But I would bet they're the dessert See, uh, the, for me, the chocolate one, we really didn't talk about it, I don't think, that much. The chocolate one, to me, has been the sweetest one. Mm, and, probably. And it really did have a lot of sweetness to it. Mm. And that's why, when I ate that one specifically, I thought, oh, this is like dessert. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I wouldn't think this would be... To me, like, instead of, like, Americans buying a container of fudge... In Turkey, you're buying a container of hava instead of fudge. Yeah. So you can let me know if you, if you know. Uh, this is roasted hazelnuts and caramel. You don't really smell the caramel though. It's really just, it really doesn't smell okay, much yeah. of anything, honestly. Uh -uh. I mean, the, you really smell the sesame seeds. But they put tons of hazelnuts. Oh, it's covered. Sesame seeds and then hazelnuts and then caramel sauce and then all the other same stuff. It's tough to cut in this little container. I can just tell you that. I do like the little container though because I think once, once you get it going, it's not gonna be bad. But right. it's getting that. And it does remind me the way he's having to cut yeah, it, yeah, like like out. fudge, you know. So that's why the, to me it's like comparable. Ooh, the, sticky. 
Yeah. And Kevin gives me these huge pieces. Well, you don't have to eat it all. But you know if you give it to me, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> it's not a requirement. If it's on my plate, it's getting eaten. <laughs> it's not a requirement that you eat the whole piece. That home has there. a... Uh, uh, well, it's very um, dense chewy. and sticky and chewy. Mm -hmm. That is my least favorite. I'm trying to figure out if it adds anything to it, really. Just texture. Mm -hmm. But I don't care for I it. I do get the little sweetness from it, too. I agree, that's probably my least favorite, too, because it, it even even below this pistachio, which is ain't a lot. Um, the the caramel, it's not uh, it's not anything that stands out mm. honestly, and it just made it it made the experience sticky. Yeah, and chewy. And chewy. Where and if I want hob, I want that gritty, soft, very soft texture. Yeah, that's part of the fun of eating it. That's part of the pleasure you get chewing it is to get that gritty texture, and you lose that with the caramel mm -hmm. so i don't mind the flavor though the flavor i don't mind the flavor either it, it just changes the texture yeah uh, that it just uh, that one compared to all the other ones was lackluster mm -hmm. you know it's just not one i would choose again um i think my very favorite is the chocolate pistachio it was the pistachio mine's the chocolate i'm gonna pick the pistachio and then the chocolate yeah mine's gonna be the chocolate you know now that i'm thinking about it i think i'll probably get that caramel second Really? Mm -hmm. Oh. Because I do like the flavor. The after flavor is really nice. I like. Yeah, but I just didn't think the caramel stood out. But it, I mean, it doesn't. Like but I like. The, I like the flavor that it does have. It, yeah. It doesn't stand out. It doesn't have a bad flavor. No, but it's but it's good. Right. Um, I think that would be my number two because, like I said, pistachios aren't my favorite anyway. Right. So I would pick that third. Mm -hmm. uh, the vanilla, I wouldn't get the vanilla because it's it's more like a, a standard hobble, but it's not as strong. I wish they had just made all of them. Right. Not, I put not put the vanilla in there. Right. Um, I have no idea where you're going to be able to find these. Huh. Like I said, I found them in Tuesday morning. Um, it says that Immorelli, it says Immorelli San Francisco, but then on the back it says it's a product of Turkey. So if you see this brand anywhere, you can let people know in the comments below. That would be very, very helpful because I absolutely think this is this is a great brand it's very good quality mm -hmm. i do like the containers that way once you've opened it up you can, you can put, put the lid, put back, the on lid back on it and and keep it and i think that's nice mm -hmm. and um, i'm left with this nice sesame seed kind of flavor yeah i do think the, these are very good quality mm -hmm. if you like to pick the seeds off seeded buns on your hamburger if you like to eat them off the plate afterwards you like that flavor you should try just even a plain one and just see what you think about it yes it's, it's I like it. Yeah, and it's different. It's different than I'm sure anything you've had before. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.